Hey, welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the Berserker's Technique Engraving from the uh, Warrior Berserker class. Now recently, Berserker's Technique got a massive buff which made them highly competitive in the burst meta as well as uh, sustained damage too because now their gauge generation is super super fast and reliable to uh, obtain. Just to show you guys how easy it is to gain gauge, uh, I'm just do my own rotation here. It's super easy, right? And you have your gauge, activate it, just like that. And so yeah, it's super, super easy to use now. In this guide, I'm going to be specifically going over the tripods, uh, which skills to use, and the uh, spec specialization breakpoints in which you need to obtain uh, your gauge in kind of like one rotation or the most optimal rotation possible uh, for whatever build you kind of choose. So we're going to be going over one swift ring, two swift rings, two earrings, and a full spec uh, BT build. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. And so we'll be going over the skills first. Here we have Brave Slash, which is a new uh, Berserker skill. Uh, this is going to be a big gauge generator. So we're going to put a purple wealth rune on that. And we're going to go quick prep level one, uh, burst enhancement, and a criminy. Uh, level five the reason you don't go you know plus five on quick prep is because you don't have enough uh, tripods to allocate into getting a uh, plus five cooldown here but it's not really necessary so this is a level 10 brave slash here this is going to be your gauge generator you don't need to do a lot of damage here but it's nice to have for damage um wooden blade is your number one gauge generator we're going to have your legendary wealth rune on that and we're going to be going quick prep focus and squall so the reason we go squall instead of wind swift is because squall generates more gauge now you can have an argument where wind swift is a better quality of life skill because um using wind swift actually it gives you more distance uh, when you use it which can be helpful it's like a second uh, dodge right and they did buff uh wind swift the uh, post delay on it so it's it's super fast now it's not as fast as shoulder charge or your dodge but um it, it, it's uh, it's pretty quick now. So, for example, I'm going to show you guys the squall here. Uh, we're going to start right here at the bottom. And we're going to squall upwards. Right? It's it's pretty good distance, but it's not as much as uh, Wind Swift. But it does give you more gauge. So, we're going to go to the uh, Wind Swift here. Right? Let's, we kind of ended up here with squall. Let's go back down here. And if we use Wind Swift, you go a little bit. A little bit further right so that's the argument you can use but again squall will give you more um sorry squall will give you more gauge and it's it's a significant amount of gauge as well so um i do prefer using squall now hellblade you can uh copy this one we're gonna use the two important ones here it's gonna be melt and earth flip right All right you can't use the instant one because we're gonna be using melt and melt is for every hellblade uh ticks on it it will gain more damage right so the instant one won't work with melt so you gotta go melt or flip right you can't go deadly blow because that's the mayhem version and lava jet is uh is just a big meme so we have this and the top row is kind of your preference i like using this one big aoe you can use leap as well leap obviously is the recommended version but i don't like using leap it's good for repositioning to the back, doing back attack damage, but yeah, back attack damage is not so necessary in BT. So I like using the AoE radius, it's just a kind of like a safety net. If uh, the boss does move, you can maybe slightly get uh, some hits off of your Hellblade, so that's kind of nice. Level 12, we're going to use a Overwhelm. Actually, sorry, this is my um, other build, but you would use a, uh, what's it called? Gale Wind on it, right? You would use a gale wind so i'm gonna put that slap a gale wind on right now just like that gale wind and finish strike finish strike is also an interesting topic we're definitely going to use weak point detection lights out for these two rows um but it's a toss-up between enhanced strike or gravitational blow so enhanced strike is 32 percent gravitational blow is 45 percent and the difference between these percentages is around 10%. So let's say your finish strike does 30 million with enhanced strike. With gravitational blow, it would do 33 million, which is not a significant amount. 
and the post delay on this is 0.5 seconds and it's uh it's kind of annoying to use the uh the delay on finish strike especially when you're in bt mode and you don't have a lot of swift like mayhem um even mayhem uses the enhanced strike version as well so this uh tripod here i think is more recommended right you don't really care about that 10 percent extra damage on finish strike like it's 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 uh, it's damage it's been max damage but this is just better to use uh for example the usual recommended bt combo is just red does overdrive finish strike into your z right and that's already pretty close um your red does almost ran out right there but if we use gravitational blow it's even closer right so gonna strike overdrive you can see the post delay there and uh, you barely get like the one or two last ticks of uh your bloody z or sorry bloody rush but of course this is without yearning i don't have yearning i don't have support buffs so you can say the argument uh if you have yearning it will be uh much easier to hit with the finish strike gravitational blow but uh, i i don't really like uh using it because there's also another combo with your awakening you could do red dust overdrive finish strike into your awakening right but uh, barely got the i don't even think i got that red dust uh buff there 69 mil right i don't think i got that buff but if i use enhanced strike uh i could do the combo easy because it's the 0.5 seconds is actually very noticeable oh there i got it 88 mil so i got the red dust uh the red dust buff so it's a toss-up kind of like a like a preference kind of thing but a hand strike is uh definitely the play to go you want to go fast you want to hit hard and you want to burst hard right so a hand strike is the way to go uh for the rune overwhelm actually i kind of like overwhelm overwhelm on finish strike but again just the uh the normal build you would go uh purple um what's it called purple gale wind so even with the purple gale winds gravitational blow again you can make the argument uh you get the extra cast speed so gravitational blow would be more acceptable to use but again it's kind of a preference i like to use enhanced strike red dust we're gonna put a legendary bleed on that uh that's a no-brainer bleed does more damage based on your attack power and red dust gives you more attack power easy peasy free damage uh vital hit point level five and then these two level one we have tempest slash all right another uh another controversial skill here so we can use focus level five or we can use quick prep level five when i'm going over the spec breakpoints i'm going to be moving some tripods around and so you'll see me use quick prep sometimes and you'll see me use focus sometimes so it's a it depends on your build really but for now i'll be using focus with my with my stats here as you can see and we port detection driving hit you can also use storm slash as well storm slash does give you uh, a little bit more min max damage than driving hit but storm slash kind of animation locks you which i don't really like uh driving hit is also again fast and hard hitting so i like using driving hit uh we're gonna use a purple wealth on that uh tempest slash is basically a your second or third highest uh, gauge generator so well from that very nice mountain crash we're gonna use focus five vital hit uh vital point hit five uh there is a uh, toss-up between mountain crash or you want to use chainsword but um i like mountain crash right mountain crash is just easier to use faster to use um you also get the extra one second of crit versus chainsword so you can see here crit uh, for four seconds and chain slash is three seconds right but the benefit of using chain sword is that you only need to put it to level four and then you can do this right you don't need the uh the second row here so that's kind of nice you can save some skill points here but again mountain crash it also gives you some gauge generator it's not a lot but it is uh, noticeable when you're trying to optimize your gauge generation so i like to use mountain crash and we're going to use a purple uh, sorry, a blue wealth on that. 
And then we have our big boy, the Overdrive. It's our new Strike Wave, a replaced Strike Wave. And we're going to be using Weak Point Detection, Burst Enhancement, and Ruthless. So, Ruthless is the combo version. It's basically is the recommended uh, tripod to use because it lines up perfectly with the red dust so so your red dust overdrive finish strike they all has always have the same cooldown so that's super super nice to use there is an argument to using the limit break which is the charge version and the charge version um it depends really so maybe if you're trying to do like a uh, g2 clown skip or something like that maybe you could use this but again if you're using it um your red dust cooldown won't uh, won't align with overdrive so like this and you're gonna do the charge version right finish strike as you can see your overdrive is like 10 seconds uh difference between your red dust so it's not really recommended but there is an argument to make that if you do or are doing a content with super super high burst like extreme high burst like you kill the thing in a, like one minute or something maybe maybe then you can use um limit break but 90 percent 90 not even 90 percent 95 percent of the time you're going to be using this chain combo right here so we're going to be using this on your overdrive all right and now with all the skills and tripods covered let's get into our spec breakpoints so for the first uh, spec breakpoint i want to talk about i want to talk about the one swift ring okay so your necklace is going to be your standard crit spec everything spec 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 and then your last piece will be a swift right and this is a generous amount here 1470 spec is uh is really low quality but this is the first spec point uh spec break point that you want to hit so with 1470 spec and um let's check out the tripods that you want to use with 1470 spec you want to be using tempest slash with a focus level five right and so with the focus level five you'll be able to obtain a full uh rotation uh, sorry full meter in one rotation without using hellblade so some rotations that do use hellblade to gain uh gauge but i don't like using hellblade to you know kind of get gauge because one when you're out of your bt state hellblade is extremely slow you're losing like 20 percent speed right and second hellblade does a lot of damage so i don't want to use hellblade without uh bt meter up right so we're gonna be using basically uh brave slash wind blade tempest mountain crash overdrive to get uh meter in one rotation so 1470 once again with one swift uh ring and this is what you're gonna do all right super simple oh and with just those five skills, you're going to get meter, BT meter, um, super, super easy. And the only downside is that uh, your swift is low. So with your swift low, you won't be getting as much uh, raid captain value as possible. But it it's um, it's around like one or two percent difference, right? It's not really uh, super necessary to maximize raid captain uh, with the BT build. But again, you do lose uh, some red captain value and your red dust uh, combination will be slightly tighter if um, you don't have more swifts, right? So you'll be doing this and you're going to be using the fast finish strike, right? And so that's your rotation and that's all under red dust. So super, super nice. I do recommend this build. This is the build that I'm running as well. But of course, if we go to uh, by default stats here, I have 1559 spec. So I have pretty much like 90 more spec because my quality is uh, my quality is pretty good. I pretty much have um, really, ha really high spec. I'm missing like 20 or 30 spec or so, maybe just 20 spec. So yeah, 1470 will be the first break point with one swift uh, ring here. All right, and now we have our second breakpoint. This is uh, our 1330 spec breakpoint, and this is when we're going to be using two uh, swift rings. So let's say this is uh, 200, 200, and you're going to be around 441 with your innate uh, swiftness from your horizontal content and stuff, right? 
and 1330 spec is uh super super low so it's gonna this is kind of like a low quality uh spec which you can easily obtain uh so 1313 1330 is going to be your spec break point and basically with this build uh we're going to be using red dust as our gauge generator as well because we're trying to uh, optimize our gauge uh rotation without using hellblade because um Hellblade is our big damage skill, right? And so we don't want to waste Hellblade. Also, Hellblade is super slow, once again, without uh, your BT mode on. So yeah, we're going to be trying to save Hellblade as much as we can. So our rotation is super, super simple. It's going to be the exact same thing, right? Uh, Tempest Slash. Mountain Crash for the crits. Overdrive. And then as you can see, we're a little bit missing a little bit of uh gauge right here and we're gonna cover that using red dust right there red dust and you're gonna go immediately into your bt mode and do your rotation so this is going to require using red dust um you can save red dust whenever you want to burst right so you don't have to immediately use it to get your uh bt generator right so we're gonna do it again all right Let's say the boss is like running around. You could stay at this uh, meter just perfectly fine. And whenever you want to burst, you throw out your red dust. And then you do your rotation. And even throwing red dust out and then using your BT meter, you can get overdrive, finish strike, and your bloody Z in all under red dust with this amount of swiftness. So that's really, really nice to use. Again, if you are missing like one or two ticks of uh, your... Bloody, uh, bloody rush we're gonna be having yearning as well as other party synergies as well so we can emulate eight percent attack speed and that would definitely definitely ensure your three big skills will be under red dust so with this uh spec breakpoint 1330 we're gonna be using red dust to uh get that J uh, gauge done in one rotation and lastly for our third spec breakpoint we're gonna be going full spec on all of our accessories so we're gonna go spec 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 double ring double earrings all spec and the spec breakpoint is going to be 1750 so you want to hit 1750 at least um that's going to require some good quality uh, accessories so um do keep this in mind it might be a little bit more expensive than the uh the swift alternatives but yes you need 1750 spec to get uh, full rotation and what we're going to do is change our tripod on uh tempest slash so we're gonna have Tempest Slash here. Instead of the focused, we can go into our quick prep now. So we're gonna get eight seconds back onto our Tempest Slash because we don't need uh, the Fury gain on uh, the skill just because we have so much spec. So we're gonna switch it to quick prep and our rotation is exactly the same. Uh, we're gonna do a Wind Blade with Squall, Tempest Slash, MC for the crits, and then Overdrive. And as you can see, that rotation gives us exactly what we need uh for a uh, one rotation uh meter gain without using red dust or using hellblade so again you can uh switch switch your tripod on tempest slash from fury to uh, quick prep if you're going to go a full spec um build as well all right and i think that pretty much sums up the break spec points that you need to reach there is the uh one swift ring spec break point that you want to hit the two swift rings and the full spec breakpoints that you want to hit and you can see and you saw the rotations that are used um again if you don't have like the uh, wealth runes or you don't have the tripods level five for your fury gains you could tweak the uh, spec breakpoints as uh, as needed right or you can switch up some of your uh, skills as well if you have to use hellblade then you just have to use hellblade because you don't have the horizontal content for your wealth runes and stuff etc right um but again you, you do want to try to avoid using your Hellblade because it's big damage, right? So the next topic we're going to be going over is the BT uh, rotation that you want to be using whenever you are, you know, bursting down a boss or, you know, just uh, just doing your Trixie on parse, right? So I think that's pretty much it. I'm not going to even simulate level 2 yearning, which I can to make the, the Trixie on parse even better. But again, if, like, if you're doing like a solo content, solo bus, um this is what your rotation is going to look like all right let's get into the test all 
from Super Hill Blade or a Slash as well. These are just your filler skills. Pretty much Brave Slash and win when the blade is your pillars. Big awakening here. It didn't even crit, bro. Didn't even crit. And now we're gonna be waiting for MC for our bloody rush. To Tempest. And now we got our Hellblade up, and we're gonna save it for our next Red Dust combo. Nice. Red dust combo again. Big finisher here with our Z. And at this point, when your meter is about to run out, you can kind of save your meter gen skills. So we got our meter gen. Take this slash. Brave slash. And we're gonna wait for our overdrive to come back with our MC. And meter back. Boom. And then we're gonna go back into a rotation. Just like nothing happened. All right? Super super easy. MC with Hellblade. And bada bing bada boom, that's basically your combo right there. But yeah, that's kind of what your rotation is going to look like. Uh, your Red Dust combo is going to be alternating with your Bloody Rush and your Hellblade. And your MC, your Mountain Crash, is going to be alternating again with your Bloody Z, uh, Bloody Rush, and your Hellblade. So that's what a BT rotation would look like. I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, Maybe in the next video, maybe a part two, I'm going to be talking about uh, engravings and maybe a little bit of showcase in some Legion Wraith as well. But I think that kind of wraps up the video for today. Kind of wanted to talk about skill tripods, uh, your spec breakpoints, and a sample BT rotation. So uh, hopefully this helps you guys uh, kind of theory craft and build your BT to be super, super strong. And again, it's super, super high tier in the uh, the burst meta currently in lost arc na so uh bt is super strong right now do go ahead and gear up your bt you will not be disappointed <laughs>